Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day. Don't forget, grab your smartphone and download the Lava Matra app and stay in touch. Guru Maharaj's message is your advantage. The following is a class given by His Holiness Jaya Pataka Swami Maharaj on June 2006 at New Panihadi Dam in Atlanta, Georgia, USA. Raghunath Das was inwardly completely renounced, even in family life, but he did not express his renunciation externally. Instead, he acted just like an ordinary businessman. Seeing this, his father and mother were satisfied. <laughs> When he heard that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had returned from Mathura and was back in Jagannath Puri and the devotees from Bengal were going to go in a month or so for the Ratha Yatra festival. And today so what should I talk about? Rathi Atra or Pani Hati? I'm not talking to <laughs> So Ratyatra was a special festival that Lord Chaitanya participated. And Raghunath Das was eager to go, but he knew that if he went with all the devotees, he would get caught. So, in the meantime, there was a Mohammedan official who had been collecting the taxes of Saptagram, but his uncle and father had taken away that tax collecting service from him and got the franchise by paying something more to the government. But then they started cheating on their taxes. The total income was two million gold coins. And they are allowed to keep one fourth of the tax collected. And three fourths are supposed to turn in. But they were only turning in 12, 1.2 million keeping 800,000, an additional 300,000 gold coins. As far as I know, I am living in India. The gold coins in those days used to weigh 11 grams each. So three gold coins would be more than an ounce. Ounce is 28 grams. So right now, how much is the gold? It was an ounce? It's one ounce. Seven, eight hundred. So, that means about 250 per gold coin. Times 500. Thousand. <laughs> 
sometimes business on the children and their territories. In India, they say the second economy is bigger than the first. <laughs> the parallel economy. Anyway, so while all these things are going on, preparations for the Rathiyatra also going on. One Rathiyatra passed, I think, and the next one is coming. So this Rathiyatra, Lord Chaitanya, he was going with the Lord in the month of uh, Vaishaka for the Chandran Yatra. You know Chandran Yatra? The Lord is covered with sandalwood. In Mayapur they made several buckets, two to three buckets big buckets of sandalwood pulp every day. And they cover Lord Madhava from head to foot with sandalwood. And they cover Lord Shingade head to foot. And they put a little forehead band on all the hopis and little Madhavana Madhava Madhava is also covered head to foot. Darshan Artis will go away every day. All the men, women, children, everybody's all day long making sandalwood. Very nice service. So they're going down to when that happens in a form of Jagannath called Patit Bhavad. He goes to the boat, to the lake called Narendra Sarovar. And there, they take him around in the boat. So when they were going, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was leaving the procession with the kirtan. Meanwhile, the devotees arrived from Bengal. Having heard Lord Chaitanya was back. When they were arriving in the Jagannath Puri, they could hear the kirtan. Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So they heard the kirtan. And then Lord Chaitanya suddenly was like an intersection near the lake. And Lord Chaitanya's kirtan party became visible. And all the Bengal devotees, devotees from Bengal, they saw Lord Chaitanya and his associates and <coughs> immediately paid their obeisances. Some associates saw, look at Goranga, they are the devotees from Bengal. Immediately he went over to greet them for the Kirtan party. And those were people like uh, the elder people, like Advaita Gosai, or he would embrace, he would offer them respect, equals he would embrace, the juniors would touch his feet, they would follow the etiquette really carefully, and everybody was embracing and hugging and touching feet and to each other. He said that the wives of the devotees that were come from Bengal, of course they were all they all wanted to touch the lotus feet of Lord Chaitanya, but they couldn't, so in their minds they touched and they immediately got the same benefit and the teaching the by mentally touching the lotus feet of the Lord and tears of love were pouring from their eyes. Which is interesting because it shows that men and women all got love of Radhid in the association of Lord Chaitanya. And nobody was deprived. So it was a very emotional, very ecstatic. And here somehow at the New Panihati Festival, meeting so many devotees, so many godmothers, so many cousin brothers, so many nephews and nieces and 
new devotees and devotees from all over here the devotees from Canada, devotees from Boston, from New York, from Miami, from Orlando, from Alachua, from Mississippi, from Tennessee, from so many different places, from Gubernadon, from Columbia, Columbus, Ohio, and I again, from California. So it's a great opportunity to meet many different devotees. So that was the kind of mood when everyone met, they were just embracing and they were crying in ecstasy. Of course, here I didn't see too many devotees crying in ecstasy. <laughs> Yesterday, during the other day, not the next day. So we went to Vaishnava Sangha, association with the Vaishnavas. That is the essence. Meeting the Lord and meeting His devotee is not different. It may be a quantitative difference. <coughs> ecstasy we can, but the quality is uh, similar, more transcendental. That's what we want. And here we give Vaishnava Association, Kirtan dancing, pujas, yagyas, dramas, different spiritual associations, prasada, lots of prasada. <coughs> In case you can't wait for the next serving of Prashad, they got a lot of a few devotees that are just serving in Prashad. It uh, helps the festival also. So this is part of our culture. <clears throat> in Mayapur, we, we uh, always look forward to the time when all the devotees from around the world, from Russia, from Australia, from Africa, from America, Latin America, Europe, they'll be coming for the Gaur Purnima festival. In fact, in Mayapur we go from one festival to the next. Now we have Roshinya festival, Jamastami, Varastami, Varastami, and then we have Vishma uh, Panchaka, the last five days of Kartik is a special rut, which is, is, is so powerful that you cannot even be calculated how much benefit you get from it. So that's by eating some, doing some rut, some <coughs> penance uh, for five days. End of Kartik. So last year we had 250 devotees all fasting together. The devotees are flying from America to do that. From California, every year you fly to. It's a whole system here to bathe and bathe in the Ganges, offer tarpon and Vishnu Deva, eat fruits and roots for five days. Offer lamps for the deities, a lot of things we do anyway. Offer flowers to Radha and Krishna. Lamp has different festivals, but War Purnima is a special, the biggest festival of course. And Jagannath Puri is the Jagannath Radhyatra. But this Chandan Yatra is also one of the big. Then Sarah, the bathing fest, the, the Svan Yatra is also the big. So the biggest is the Radhyatra. So during Rath Yatra by Chaitanya, he would take his party and be by the rats. And he would watch the Jagannath go from his temple to the car. We were able to lift Jagannath and bring him to the car. <coughs> Jagannath Puri is so big that he gets rocking. And he goes rocking. <laughs> step by step. And then when I saw, I only went to the Rath Yatra in Puri once in 1970. I was supposed to go to the Rath Yatra and Trafalgar Square. The Prabhupada told me to go to India and I couldn't get a reprieve, so I thought I'd be a little instruction. Because we're trained that 
we follow the order of the Guru, Krishna takes it as a test. And if we follow the order of the Guru, then Krishna accepts that as following his order. That trains us. And dress rehearsal and the drama and have to go to be prepared to go back to Godhead and do whatever Krishna wants. To do act for Krishna's interest. So since they have the order and I, I wrote to Prabhupada and I, I tried to communicate and I would stay for the London Lakatra. But I didn't get a response, so I went to India. And I thought as a concession that we would have taken a story with. I should So we went and then uh, I was in the storm shelter opposite the rut. Because uh, having the wrong color body, you're not allowed to go into the temple. Although in those days there were so few foreigners that I could go in and see Sakshi Goko. <laughs> Which you can't do now, they're, they're all. Although recently I heard that the Vishnu Hindu Parishad had a big meeting in the Jagannath Puri and they said Iskam should be allowed to go into the temple. <laughs>
we build up our own traditions. Tradition is good. Tradition adds color, identity, celebration, festivity. So some of what we practice of later culture may be a, a tradition that develops, but may not be strictly described in some shastra, but it's something that develops. Just like that we do Guru Puja. We sing Mangal Arati. Some temples in India <coughs> may sing different songs for Mangal Arati. We sing Samsara. For Guru Puja, we send Guru Charanathan. In other, in Gauri Math, they don't have Guru Puja. So, this is part of our color, our heritage. <coughs> the Prabhupada said he wanted to make places of transcendental pastimes. That's why when he gave his name, Panihati, New Panihati, to Atlanta. Someone told me that the first Panihati festival was in 84. Yeah, first year. Yeah. Yeah, on the scale of, you know, the priests. Scale. We used to do this very small. <coughs> Off of the DVDs, check guys. But not until you came, we started increasing. I came since 80. I think we start maybe the year after that. I visited 79 just as we did. And then Rita Danawaz asked me around 80, I think 80, 81, <coughs> to be here. <coughs> Become GBC. First it was that was the days of Sono Gurus. <laughs> to be a co guru with them. And then later it became. Sometimes that doesn't work. 
Whoever joined them goes, they, they, if he goes into the light post, they tear down the light post. <laughs> <laughs> It's a wonderful pageant. Between the time of Lord Chaitanya, King Pratap Rudra came and swept the road by sweeping the road. He uh, won the favor of Lord Chaitanya. And Lord Chaitanya, after seeing him do the humble service, he blessed him so that he could see Lord Chaitanya go and dance in the seven forms and seven Sankirtan parties. Each Kirtan party thought we were blessed Lord Chaitanya with our Kirtan party. But actually Lord Chaitanya was simultaneously with all the seven. Then when he was dancing, sometimes he would faint come crash into the ground so Nityananda would catch him and do all these different services. When before when before when Lord Chaitanya first went to Jagannath Puri and Nityananda was there every year, then he told Nityananda you should go back to Bengal. That I didn't finish the we didn't finish the work there. We had to spread the Sankirtan movement. We didn't finish. And I can't go back now. I'm being a sannyasi. I, I had to go and find my brother, the Sharu, and other things. So then, someone told me that this Sharu Samadhi is in Lokanath Maharaj's temple in Pandalpur. Anybody here from me? <coughs> I went there, he didn't mention to us on safari. Did he mention safari? Who was in safari this year? He has a beautiful ashram in Pandalpur, where he makes the, I think it's called the Chandra Vaka River. And this is beautiful deity of uh, Vitala. When you go to see the Vitala deity, they put your head on his feet. You line up and then you go and they just grab your head and put it right on the feet of the people. <laughs> Men and women. Who went this year? Did you get your head on the feet? Did you climb up a little bit? <laughs> so they do that with Jagannath also, sometimes with me, on the rut. You can claim up. I know some even Western devotees give a hundred dollar rupee donation and they bring them up. They brought brought a run that's when we have. So when he's on the rock card, he's uh, he's more accessible. So this past time, uh, Jagannath is on the move. He's giving everyone the blessings. So those who sweep the road for Jagannath who offer the pujas, who pull the rod, who dance before Jagannath, it's all a special seva. We hope that everyone participates. By pleasing Krishna, you please Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That's the secret. So, Pratap Rudra Maharaj had so many blessings because he took the humble position. One time in, the, in Bangalore, we were having a Ranthyatra, the vice president of India came. And the president of the temple, those days there was an Iskwan, he was uh, requesting that this is the tradition in Jagannath Puri, the kings would sweep the road with the vice president and he would sweep the road before Jagannath. And the vice president got up, took the mic and said, we are a republic. We are a democracy. We don't follow monarchical traditions. I will not sweep the road before Jagannath. 
Felix. The newspapers are writing. The vice president refuses to speak the law before God. <laughs> And we know what to do. Then I got an idea of being from America. I said, well, democracy is a government for the people, by the people, of the people. That means that now the people of India are the kings of India. They are the rulers. They rule with their votes. So we request all the people here to sweep the roads before Jagannath. And as the leader of the people, we request the Vice President <laughs> to sweep the road. He couldn't figure out how to get out of that. <laughs> <laughs> but he swept one microphone. <laughs> There's a lot of this, say these are the tradition. In Jagannath Puri they have tradition, which are not the same as any other. They have their own guidebook for puja. So we make our tradition. So this is part of our Pani Happy Festival. We have a Yatra on Saturday. And we have, tomorrow we have the Chiradvai Festival. The Pani Hati, when Lord Nityananda went back to Pani Hati, he started the he went back to Bengal. The first place he started his Sankirtan preaching was in Panihati. He went there and they had a three month non stop Kirtan. <laughs> Dancing and ecstasy. People started getting so powerful from the Kirtan, non stop Kirtan. They start flying in the air. <laughs> They're jumping from one tree top to the next. <laughs> and they start pulling out the trees. Please don't do that. Druid Hills Committee will be very upset if the waters pull out the trees. They don't want anything to be changed. Their tradition. Historic. Huh? Historic. It's a historic, 100 years old. So we're creating our own history. It's Pani Happy Festival that was celebrated in India since 500 years ago. It says here, after Raghunath Das, he got the uh, freedom, he got, he got the solved, the, the uh, problem solved with his, uh, his children and the tax collector and the minister. Then he heard what Chaitanya was back in Jagannath Puri. And Yeah, he just became desperate. He said, I gotta go to meet Lord Chaitanya. He ran away from his house. The father bring him back with his uh, forces. He had an army, police. The mother said, Putra our son has become mad, she said. Just keep him by binding him with ropes. His father, being very unhappy, replied to her as follows. Indra Sama Aishwarya, Sri Apsara Sama, Esa Bandite Nari Leka, Jarmo. Dori Bandane Tare, Rakiba Kamote, Janamadata Pita Nade Parabda Kandaite. Raghunath Dasa's son has opulences like Indra, the heavenly king, and his wife is as beautiful as an angel. Yet all this could not tie down his mind. How then could we keep this boy home by binding him with ropes? It is not possible. For one's father nullify the reactions of one's past activities. Chaitanya Chandra ki bhavya chai hari Chaitanya Chandra bhatu ke ra ki te pare Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has fully bestowed his mercy on him. Who can keep home such a madman of Chaitanya Chandra? 
Kavi Raghunatha Kichu, Vichari Lamone, Vityananda Gosai, Hasa Chodila Arjunine. The Ramana Das considered something in his mind, and the next day he went to Nityananda Gosai. In the village of Panihati. Panihati ki? Panihati ki? Panihati ki? Raghunath Das obtained an interview with Nityananda Prabhu. Panihati grame paila prabhura darsan kirtaniya sevak sangye arabahu jan. Nityananda Prabhu was accompanied by many kirtan performers, servants and others. Ganga tire brika mule pindaru pare mosi achin jano koti tujid hoya kore Sitting on a rock under a tree on the bank of the Ganges, Lord Nityananda Steve as a falchion has hundreds and thousands of rising suns. Tale upare bahu Bhakta Vyachi Veshtiko Deki Prabhu Prabhava Raghunath Vishmito Many devotees sat on the ground surrounding him. Seeing the influence of Vityananda Prabhu, Raghunath Das was astonished. Danda Vata Vyase Purila Kotu Dure Seva Kohi Raghunatha Danda Vata Kore Raghunath Das offered his obeisance by falling prostrate at a distant place. And the servant of Nityananda who pointed out, there is Raghunath Das offering you obeisances. Suni Prabhu Kare Chura Dili Darasan Ay Ay Ajitor Korimu Dandan Hearing this, Lord Nityananda Prabhu said, you are a thief. Now you have come to see me. Come here, come here, today I shall punish you. The Lord called him, but Raghunath Das did not go near the Lord. The Lord forcefully caught him and placed his lotus feet upon Raghunath Das's head. So this will, I say this morning, so this is how Start reading from here tomorrow. So they're going to punish you. So this is also this festival of Panihati that we're having tomorrow is uh, called the Dharma Mahutsava, the punishment festival. <laughs> it says here, festival of mercy. Well, that punishment was pure mercy. <laughs> Engaged. Wealthy Raghunath in his service, feeding a picnic to all the devotees. And so many devotees appeared, hundreds and thousands and tens of thousands and maybe a hundred thousand or more. And they all got chira dahi and condensed milk and flat rice and fruits. So we need help tomorrow. Who wants to help Raghunath and play the part? of cutting up the, uh, preparing the feast to offer to Lord Nityananda. And then others who want to play the part of those who with Nityananda eat the feast. <laughs> Mind you, said so the people that helped Raghunath, they got Maha Prashadam. Yeah. Yeah. Right off his plate. It was given to Raghunath three parts wow. Wow. offered to the Lord. And he took something and he gave to his associates. So you have to save a few parts for the people that help. <laughs> Everybody gets the mercy. In fact, the people that came there to sell the stuff, they got the mercy too. They also got the shot. A wonderful pastime. We'll hear more detail tomorrow. This is the Panihati, is the Venice, but this is the place that Lord Chaitanya eternally resides in five places, and one of them is Panihati. So it's a, you know, to invoke the presence 
In Malayapur, when we have the festival, we raise a flake that's an installed Garuda. That means that the temple is now under festival mode. As long as the flag is hoisted. At the end of the festival, the flag comes down. Do you like our ad-free videos? Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day and don't forget to like and share our channel.